Hi guys, welcome back to Casually Crafted. My name is Ashley and this is Crafty Chat number 66. Um, so if you are new here, welcome and um, glad you could stop by. Um, because I do have a few new people, I just wanted to introduce myself and my channel again real quick, especially because this is the first video of the year. So um, like I said, my name is Ashley. Uh, this is mostly a crochet channel, but I do do other random crafts also um, I've been crafting most of my life but like never one specific thing until I learned to crochet um, so I have been crocheting for almost seven years now I think um, I learned I taught myself just using like YouTube tutorials and stuff um, when my six-year-old when I was pregnant with my six-year-old so um, sometime before she was born I taught myself and the first thing I made was a baby blanket for her um, let's see. I have three kids so um, they are 10 6 and 3 um, and a husband and we live in Wyoming so um, yeah that's about it for me um, this is not my normal uh, spot to the video at um, my craft room slash kids playroom is a disaster that you can like hardly even walk through right now. It's been a disaster pretty much all the last year because I started decluttering some stuff like January of last year and that room was one of the last rooms we got to and it never got finished. So I have been this past week working on their board game and stuff closet and that's almost done but once that's done hopefully we can get everything else back in order so I will hopefully be able to record in there because everywhere else the lighting is really weird so I was gonna record in my bedroom but my three-year-old decided she wanted to sleep in my bed so I ended up <laughs> having to bring everything down here um, so anyway this video is just gonna be a quick 2023 recap and I know it's already after it's like a week after but that's how I do things I'm always behind because I can't keep up with life but 2023 recap and then like a little bit of not really goals but plans for 2024 um so I in the past I have done like actual goals that I made a video about I did not make any video goals for 2023. I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I think I like kind of had some goals in mind, but never like any really set anything down. So I'm just going to go over what I made because, and this is only things that I, I'm really bad at keeping track of things. I want to like, I've tried. And I want to be better at like writing things down when I start a project, like what it is, what yarn I'm using and what hook I'm using, like at the least. Like I would love to be able to say like I've used this much yarn or this many ball bands and I just, I'm not good at keeping track of that. So I had to go through all of my pictures on like my phone and my computer from this past year for most of these. So I might be missing some projects. Um, obviously I'm not going to tell you every single little thing I made, but it'll be categories. Um, so the one thing I make the most of is, um, towel toppers. Um, so just like the hand towels with the crocheted topper part. Um, I do have a tutorial, my one and only tutorial for the way I make them. Um, I used a few people's ideas and squished them together and figured out how I like to make them. So um, I do sell those locally to people. Um, I like post on Facebook what ones I have like kind of seasonally. So right now I'm making Valentine's Day ones um, and then people will tell me which ones they want and then I make them for them. Um, when I first started doing these I would just make a bunch and then be like hey these are the ones available. And then some months I'd get them all sold, some months only one or two would sell. So I eventually switched to doing these just by like 
special order basically but still on my own schedule like okay you have to order within reason when I post them and then I have a say okay they'll be done by February 1st and then we'll contact you to come pick them up or whatever so that is the thing I make the most of and while people still buy them I guess I will continue to make them um, some days I get sick of making them but that's okay anyway so I made that I wrote down because I did make some for my mom that I didn't charge her for so I don't know if this is exactly accurate but I made 76 towel toppers last year I also made 35 Christmas ornaments I think <laughs> and that was during the like deck the halls Christmas in July collaboration thing I did not make any in the fall or winter December months I made six baby blankets and then one other larger blanket, the nativity one, um, for like small, like no sew type amigurumis, I made 12 and then larger amigurumis, um, I made eight. I made five beanies, one being for a baby, but the rest is adult size. Um, pumpkins, I made their own category because <laughs> I made, I, th I think, 18 mini ones so like this big and then two like a little bit bigger um and then everything else is a little bit miscellaneous so i have a bag section um i made one granny square bottom bag one plastic bag like grocery bag holder thing um a small drawstring bag like for D, &D dice for my brother <laughs> and a little um a little heart bag it was like a mystery crochet along last I think February um, and then completely miscellaneous is I made two plant pot covers one pillow six popsicle cozies 30 um, ish or so water balloons um, with like the Burnett blanket yarn and one crochet top that I made in one weekend for family pictures so those are all the things I think that I made in 2023 I might have missed some and yeah but that's all I had pictures for so that's what I wrote down um, and some of the things I wasn't sure what category to put them in but we made it work um, so my plans for 2024 is um, I have a lot of whips that I want to finish and I have some that are older that I don't really want to finish. <laughs> I have to decide but right now I want to worry about the ones that there's a few that I actually really do want to finish. Um, so I actually brought them down here so I could show you guys what they are. Um, if I can find them. Hold on. Oh, they fell off the stairs. Uh, the first one is I, the beginning of last year, I didn't write this down as something I'd finished because I couldn't remember when I finished it. Um, my brother-in-law asked me to make some of these um, can cozy mitt thingies. <laughs> and I made a few patterns and like brought them to him and he kind of picked like which ones, which like the best one he liked. And so this was the one I made after that. I do still think um, this is a little big, but some people have big hands. But I think if I was going to decrease this a tiny bit and leave this part pretty much the same. Anyway, so I have one done and I told them I'd make them six and I started another one and it's, that's all I've done. So I really do want to, you know, I promised them I'd make them some. And so I probably won't charge them at this point because I was going to, but since it's been a year since they asked, um, I will just make a bunch and give it to them. The patterns that I was going off of, it's been a while, so I'll have to look it up. Um, I did make changes to the way that at least this part was done because I didn't like how it was done. Um... And they used like a bulkier yarn. I don't remember what weight it was, but I'm I was just using two strands of yarn held together for this one. 
Um, so this one is technically done, but I need to start and finish the rest of them. So there's that. Um, I did start a crocheted top for myself. in like February because that's my birthday month and I was like I'm gonna make something for myself you know um, so this is I think it's called the Saturday sweater by I want to say it's by Moogly I think it's by Moogly yeah um, so this is the first panel and I had finished that one and I just have it still connected to the ball because I didn't I wanted to make the second panel and then decide how long I really want it once I try it on and see how like well it hangs because I have a bad habit of making tops too long um, and then I am on somewhere on the second panel but it's been so long since I've worked on it um, so this has a higher neck in the back. Um, but yeah, it's been so long since I've worked on it that I will definitely need to look at the pattern and figure out where I'm at and how to continue. Um, but luckily my hook is in here. So it's a J hook, which is kind of big for this yarn, but that's okay. It is Yarn B Sweet Divinity that I got from Hobby Lobby Clearance. I don't know what is white on that one, so that's fun. Because I have kids, that's probably why. Looks like toothpaste. Anyway, I might have to clean that one off, but I do have a few other balls in there. Um, so, yeah, so I would like to finish that. Um, I've always wanted to make myself a top. I did mention I did make one. For family pictures but it was like an emergency situation <laughs> and um but I always was trying to wait till I lost weight and I haven't done that so I figured I might as well make one and hopefully it, it just fits right for the size that I am now so that is the second one I want to finish and I don't know when I'm going to finish these you guys because I always have other things going on um all right, the next one is a temperature blanket. So this is not a year-to-year -year temperature blanket like people do. Um, I have made two temperature blankets for my other daughters, my two older daughters. It's for like the year, their first year. So birthday to the day they were born to their first birthday. Um, so I need to make one for my now three-year-old. <laughs> And I've started it and I worked on it this year, like doing like the 100 day project, whenever that was. But then I switched over to the nativity blanket for my grandma because I needed to get that done. So it is in this giant bag that my mom got me from Hobby Lobby. So let me pull it out. <laughs> um, I'm using, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And it's really big because I make these basically like queen size. Yeah, I think they, I think the other two that I made fit like exactly queen size so that they could like take them to college with them and stuff. So uh, basically just granny stripe. Um, I wonder where, how far I've gotten. <laughs> I have no idea. So, um. I just pick whatever colors I want and make my own scale, I guess. Um, this one did end up being, the other two weren't really rainbowy. This one is more rainbowy. So, oh, this is the bottom. <laughs> so she was born in the, like third week of November. It was Thanksgiving this year. So this is the bottom. So the colder days are the, the purples and the blues. And then this might be May. I don't know. <laughs> I know I haven't gotten to the, the, the hottest days. So, um, but what I'm doing is 
um, each half row is a day so that it's not super long. That's why there's a middle there with all the ends. Um, and yeah, it's just granny stripe and I just go back and forth so it's like a zigzag on my Excel or Google Docs sheet or whatever so that I have the temperatures and it's just like one day, one day, one day, one day, back and forth. Um, I do have a video talking about this and showing the other ones that I've made and like the thought process and all that behind there if you care to look that up. Um, I think that was a really cold day. <laughs> but yeah, I think. So those are my main um, crochet whips that I want to now finish. I do have one non-crochet one. So for Christmas in like 2021, 2022, one of those years, I got all this wood stuff to make a welcome sign. One of those that they put on your porch that says welcome and then the O oh, you interchange with different things. Um, so I am almost done <laughs> with that, getting it ready to go. Um, so I have all these letters besides the O because you leave that part blank. Um, and last February, I took all my pieces. These aren't all the ones, these are just, anyway. I brought all my pieces to my mom's house and she helped me paint them. And then this summer, I took them outside to spray them with a protectant, I don't remember what brand it was, some sort of, you know, weatherproofing spray so that I could then finish putting it together, gluing it together, and then it would be, they'd be ready to use outside because it's really windy and gross here sometimes. So I wanted it to have that protection. But when I did that, it discolored some of my pieces. Like, you can't tell on my letters. You really can't tell on my letters because my lighting's all weird. But, hold on. I don't remember what setting this was on, but you can't tell. But this used to be like a lighter ivory color, and now it's almost like a light tan. But you can't tell that from what I'm showing you. So hopefully you can tell with the ghost. So the ghost is supposed to be white, and he is not white. I wish you could see that better. You can kind of tell. But he's like really, there's like, it's almost like splotchy. There's like a, a whiter patch there. But he's really tan. And I don't know how to fix that. If I just let him be tan. But the same thing with like, I thought he was cute. Um, same thing with my, oh no, my Easter egg. My new phone's camera is so good, it makes things look like they're actually good, but they're not. <laughs> so this looks white, but it's not white. So I don't know if I just leave it and then people won't see it up close enough to care. Oh, sure, now my camera freaks out. Um, like his tail is not white like it's supposed to be. I can kind of see some of the brown there. I don't know. So I don't know why it did that. So now I have to decide if I want to repaint those or just leave it. So I'm really annoyed because I was so close to being done. Like I literally, all I needed to do was glue the letters on and I have these little metal pieces that's going to glue on where the O goes and then glue like these really small, tiny, um, strong magnets to the back of all the pieces and make sure I put the magnets where they'd line up <laughs> with the metal pieces. So that part was going to be a little tricky, but like I was so close to done and now it's just kind of like frozen my momentum with that because I don't know what I want to do. So there's that. 
Um, I do have a few other little things like that that, like I have like four hats that I made a few last 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 year, but probably the year before, that I still haven't like woven in the ends. <laughs> um, they were just gonna be ones that I was gonna keep on hand to sell, if anybody wanted them type of thing. So, um, anyway, so I want to do all those whips at some point. And then, and then I just have a few random projects that I would like to get done. Um, but yeah, like I said, no real goals. Like I always, I'm not one of those people that will be like, I don't have a ginormous stash, so I'm not going to put myself on like a yarn band or whatever, but I always do try to work out of my stash first because I do buy stuff sometimes when it's on sale. <laughs> so. I don't have any goals like that. There's go things that I want to make someday, like I want to learn to do Tunisian crochet someday. And if that happens to be this year, if a project comes up that I need to make and I can make it Tunisian, then great. If not, like if I'm in a hurry to make it, then I'm not going to try to use, make an, you learn a new skill to make that thing. So it all just kind of depends. Like I know I did make a goal to do Tunisian crochet one year, I think, and I still haven't done it. Um, but I don't want to force myself to do it if the opportunity is not going to be there within my other projects. Um, oh, one goal I did make last year was to enter the county fair, which I did do that. So I wouldn't mind doing that again this year, but as of right now, I'm not sure what I would enter. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of my things end up being gifts for other people so I don't have them with me anymore um, so if I do I do if I don't oh well anyway so a few of the random things I wrote down just for fun um, I do want to make like a gallery wall over my living room couch um, we bought this house a little over two years ago now and the upstairs we painted and replaced all like the door frames and baseboards. Um, we also replaced all the carpet in the whole house before we moved in. Um, and so right now there's no decorations on the wall because I want to make a gallery wall. Um, we bought a rug finally and I wanted to use the rug to take colors out of that to make the frames of the gallery wall. Anyway, I would like to make like a mandala type wall hanging um, more, well, not really mandala, but like, because I want it to be all one color, probably, just like a doily type thing that you put in a hoop and hang on the wall as part of that, um, gallery wall thing. So, that's one thing I want to make. I want to make myself a coin purse, probably with those little crab thingies that I have. <laughs> I have made some coin purses before, and... It's still kind of a work in progress how to get the crochet to go around the metal pieces and still close all the way, not be too thick. So I'm still figuring that out. Um, one thing that I want to do is um, I am planning on doing a make along in February, and it's going to be um, since this year is leap year, and leap year always makes me think of frogs for some reason. Um, leap year, leap frog, I don't know. So we're going to do a leap frog make along. So I'm going to be making a bunch of frog patterns for that. Um, so that'll be fun. Um, I want this year, every other year I make my girls Easter dresses. Um, sometimes it's like a full dress. Sometimes it's like half dress, half fabric. Some, or one year I did like a t-shirt with fabric um, when they were li littler I just sewed them even though I was not that good at sewing but I didn't know how to crochet <laughs> so they it's um, always different but it's it's too much to do every year so I do every other year um, so this year is the year that I should be making their Easter dresses um, so when my when my six-year-old was a baby, so I had only been crocheting for about a year, is when I first incorporated crochet into their Easter dresses. So it was one that, like, the fabric 
was like the skirt part and then the top was um, crochet. So they had two different colors of two, like one was light blue and one was light pink, but there was flowers on it that was like a dark pink on both of them. So then the top was dark pink yarn. I'll post, I'll see if I can find a picture. I have a picture somewhere and posted it here. Um, but I want to do something similar this year. Um, two years ago, I did make them full dresses for the two older girls and then the, she was a baby still, or one year old, um, I made her a skirt. But this year I want to keep it a little more simple, but it's probably not going to be more simple because my idea is complicated. <laughs> so here's my idea if you want to know. Um, I want to, so yeah, like the same idea, the top part be crochet and then the fabric or like the skirt part. But since they're such different ages and such different like personality styles, they're all going to be a little bit different. <laughs> um, so I want to do um, for the three-year-old like little tiny, not necessarily tiny, but small um, granny squares along where like the top of the fabric would be. And then, you know, crochet up from that to make the rest of this part and then a little sleeve probably. Um, and then, so that's like going to be up pretty high and then the fabric would start after that. Um, for the six year old, I'm, I'm leaning towards like hexagon type shapes. And I'll post some pictures as I'm talking of like inspiration pictures, but I don't have anything. I haven't found anything that's like, yes, I want to make that. <laughs> so I might be kind of winging these, which is why it's not going to be easy. Um, so I, I'm i thinking hexagon wise and I'll go the, the crochet part, go a little lower. I know you can't see me, but <laughs> a little lower, um, maybe like around the waist rib area. Um, where to start and start the skirt from there um so that's what i'm leaning towards for her um she is the most complicated about clothes i think um like sensory wise like she doesn't like anything too tight and too scratchy and whatever so i'm not 100 percent sure on that yet but and then for my oldest i want to just do like two large granny squares as kind of like the shirt part and have it go pretty much as a shirt and then um, like all the way to the hips type of thing and then the crochet or the fabric be like a skirt going down. Um, I need to like sketch these out a little bit and decide the granny square patterns. Um, I do have a few. I brought out some colors of yarn that I would like to take to the store and see if I can find fabric that matches. Um, I need to figure out how much fabric I will need before I go to the store uh, for each girl also. So that's going to be a little bit of work here in the next few months because Easter is like the last weekend of March. So, um, so right now my ideas are I have this Karen Skinny Cakes and I just love those colors because teal is my favorite color. <laughs> And I like the purple with them. This one would be easy to color control as far as making the granny squares if I wanted to do that. Um, obviously the tiny small granny squares are going to have less color changes in them. The bigger one would have more color changes in them. So um, I use this to make a baby blanket a few years ago. So there's this is one ball. That's all that's left of one ball. But this is I didn't realize that this was a full unused cake in there, so that would be good. Um, my other option, or one of my other options, is this Ice Yarns Magic Cotton Neck, and I have a few of those. Um, this is cotton and acrylic, and I just like the color changes in that. How it would be, it would make interesting granny squares and stuff. But not, I don't feel like it'd be too busy depending on the fabric that I chose to go with it. Um, but all the different shades of pink in there might make it easier to match than something like this. <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, and my third option that's like not my favorite. Where did it go? Seriously? Okay, I set my giant temperature blanket on it. Um, is this ice cream yarn from Land Brand? Whoa, that is blowing out. This is an aqua color, not blue. But <laughs> it's the, um, what color is it? Mint? Will that show you? Almost. That's showing up way more blue than it is, but I like this in general. I don't know if I like it for the granny square idea, just because I'm not sure if when I do the little granny squares and the hexagons, if I want to join those in a white, if that would look good. Um, and if I did that, then that's a lot of white already, maybe in the granny square. But if I didn't want to join it in white and I just had some, some squares with white and some with the color, I don't know. So that was, that's my least favorite option of the three. Um, I like this one for some reasons <laughs> and this one for other reasons. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, still got a little bit of researching and deciding to do. Um, anyway, sorry for that ramble. Um, the only other things I have written down um, that I for sure want to make is I want to make more Christmas ornaments but this year I want to do um, I want to make a whole bunch of or I have a whole bunch of those plastic just plain plastic um, bobble ornament thingies <laughs> that you can get at like the craft stores um, I have a whole bunch of just the plain plastic ones and then I have a whole bunch of the like really old like red ones that are almost are like covered in thread almost like they're they're weird I don't know <laughs> but I want to make just covers for them um, and a few really cool patterns popped up like in December um, that I was like oh those are really pretty but I don't have time to make them so um, I've had a bunch for a while just I've, I've bought them clearanced after Christmas and I've always wanted to make some covers I did make a few this year with the Christmas in July thing we did, but I want to do more of that because I ran out of time to do all of those. Um, and then my mom asked me to make her a bat for for, for Christmas, um, for Halloween. And there's a really cute turkey pattern that I want to make for Thanksgiving that I didn't get to this year also. Um, obviously, there's a lot more that I'm going to do this year. Hopefully I don't end up making six baby blankets. Because I think I'm out of friends <laughs> to have babies this year. Because um, they all had them last year. Um, that's technically not true. I, I still know a lot of people that are having babies. But I don't feel close enough to them to make them a baby blanket. Because, yeah, my time's worth more than just an acquaintance. So, um, that sounded kind of rude. But... <laughs> Um, I will be honest that some of those baby blankets I've made are for people that I feel semi-close to because I've known them a little bit longer than some of the other people, but it's not like they invite me personally to go hang out with them. So I'm not actually that close with anybody besides like one of the people I gifted to this last year. So, and I guess one was for a cousin, but still, <laughs> um, so this year I'm not planning on making very many baby blankets because I'm not close enough to a lot of people to use my time and effort on those things this year. So um, I usually also make my grandma a nativity something for Christmas. Last year was the, the nativity blanket. I have no idea how I'm going to top that one. So wish me luck. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing for her this year. Um, normally I do know what I'm going to do. Well, I have known the last few years because they've been longer projects, but anyway, um, sorry, this is a little long for me. I don't usually try to talk this much, but, um, I didn't expect to talk as much, honestly, but, um, 
anyway, oh, I was going to mention in the intro part, um, my husband used to be a teacher, but now he works on the oil rigs. So he has gone at work for two weeks straight and then home for two weeks straight. So he is supposed to come home tomorrow as long as the weather is good enough for roads to be open and stuff. Um, but that's just, that just means like when he's home, I try not to do too much videoing and like ignoring him because he's gone half the time. So, um... I do have to kind of balance that a little bit with this channel and so as I'm doing this right now while the kids are asleep I don't know if I'll get it all edited tonight and then he comes home tomorrow so it might be days before it's edited so that's just kind of life with me I can't be one of those people that says today is this date and if whatever <laughs> like and it's it's never going to be edited the day that it's recorded pretty much so um, but that's just how life is at the moment, and my kids and my family are my priority over this channel, and mostly over crochet <laughs> some days, um, most days. Um, so that is something a little bit important to know about why I'm so sporadic sometimes in this aspect of my life is because I try to give more time and attention to the other aspects of my life while they're still really little so um yeah that's it about me i guess um thank you for watching this long if you are still here and i hope everybody had a good and safe new year's eve whenever however long ago that was for you um and i will talk to you guys next time bye guys